हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर राजश्री चैटर्जी असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जर्नलिज्म एंड मास कम्युनिकेशन जगन्नाथ यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स डिस्कस द टॉपिक मीडिया एंड वुमेन इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट जेंडर इन इक्वालिटी इन इंडिया The reality of gender inequality in India is very complex and diversified because it is present in many ways, many fields and many classes. Over the past decade, gender equality and women empowerment has been explicitly recognized as a key to the social and economic development of the nation. Additionally, the promotion of gender equality and empowering of women was one of the 8th millennium development goals. to which india was a signatory the article briefly provides details on the status of women from ancient times to the present century the article is the constitution empowering women in the domain of governance and strategies for the advancement of women now let's discuss the status of women from ancient india to present time period in ancient india women were held in high esteem and the position of women in the ved vedas and upanishads were that of a ma- of a mother or goddess in the early vedic age girls were looked after their with care the practice of polygamy deteriorated the status of women in the medieval period the practices of parda system dowry and sati came into being with the passage of time the status of women was lowered After the advancement made in relevant science and technology it led to the misuse of practicing female photocytes on a large scale this has led to a drop in the female ratio according to the census 2001 the sex ratio in india is 927 females to 1000 males and then dowry has become common and started female infanticide practices in few areas In many parts of India women are viewed as an economic liability despite a contribution in several ways to our society and economy the crime graph against women is increasing at an alarming rate the condition of an indian wo- widow is quite deplorable at home women's contribution towards home as a housewife is not recognized Domestic violence, rape, sexual exploitation, molestation, e-teasing, forced po- prostitution, sexual harassment at workplaces, etc., are a common affair today, and in some cases, it's true tragic that it gets global attention. Before I go ahead, it is very important for the students to know that why we are discussing this topic. To report social issues and to report the. civic issues in india it is very important that we understand that what is the present situation of women in our country and how the government is working to empower women in our country let's go ahead the major reasons for the inequality are identified as the need for a male heir to the family huge dowry continued financial support to a girl child poverty domestic violence farming as a major job for poor and caste system at work the disparity is visible through a different working environment for women unequal wages undignified treatment sexual harassment hard working hours engagement in harmful industries occupational hazards working roughly twice as many as hours as men and nearly 27 percentage of women are accounted by unpaid activities violence against women is not prominent in india as per reports every 20 42 minutes sexual harassment occurs every 43 minutes a w- woman is kidnapped and every 93 minute a woman is burnt for dowry as per the pre quarter of reported rapes involve girls under the age of 16 years every 26 minute a girl is molested and every 34 minute a rape take place poor health care is another attitude towards women which makes them a vulnerable section of the society lack of education in women has led to poor levels of literacy the discriminative 
socialization process is another aspect of inequality towards women which leads, leads to customary practices more involvement in household activities only boys not allowed restricted to play isolation separation is in schools and public places and restrictions to move freely detrimental cultural practices like after marriage husbands dominating the family dominance from in-laws family members never or rarely considered for any decision making limitations in continuation relationship with brothers sisters relatives child or early marriage patriarchal attitudes are not able to continue girl or boy friendship after marriage and also contributing factor to the inequality article 24d women empowerment is the domain of governance in governance this inequality was visible after decades of independence hence article 243d of the constitution provides provision of 33% reservation for women in panchayati raj institution and 33% of the office of the chairperson will be reserved for women go through the detailed information advancement of women strategies strategies for the advancement of women should be higher literacy more formal education greater employment opportunity in education it needs to be reducing primary and secondary dropout of a female child women learners should educate their chi- children which further enhances social advancement for better job opportunities reservations could be provided or special provisions in governance all rights and all legal measures should be available for women protection and support now let's discuss the portrayal of women in media with the introduction of new technologies the power of mass media has grown in stature the mass media shapes our perception of social reality by presenting only some aspect of reality and by continuous repetition of images and messages although the form and content of mass media have changed dramatically over the year the mass media has played a decisive role in reinforcing gender stereotypes and in reinforcing patriarchal culture by constructing new means and images and by setting agenda for public opinion through selective themes and viewpoint this topic is attempt to give a picture of representation of women in the mass media especially on films and television on basis of available research literature on women in mass media it argues that women and their concern are no longer invisible in the mass media however old sex stereotypes have continued in new forms with the growing commercialization of mass media there have been increasing commodic commoditization of women in the mass media on the other hand progressive discourse of women issues is often co-opted and reconstructed in the mainstream media to establish the hegemony of dominant social classes hence the task of changing media images of women has become far more difficult in the context of market economy let's start with the introduction nowadays a fast growing and ever lasting forms of communication could be done only with the help of mass media the importance of media has gone to a wider extent to providing basic information knowledge reality socialization shaping the perception of the individual as well as gains a way leading to the country towards it upgrade gradation as a whole media is not only a mirror of the society but also an instrument of political economical social cultural change it aims to spread noble ideas of the people and the expression thought perception feelings and other aspects it must expose social levels and help eradication of discrimination inequality race color gender and other source of violence this is the period of information explosion and this age is considered as the age of information this in this growing trend it has become made the involvement of youth men women children in shaping their life patterns as well as providing the outlook of socialization pattern while coming to the role of women media it's narrow 
women contribute half of the total population in our country 35% contribute in media and anchoring them daily women are gradually providing this worth and making an indelible mark in the media world sweeping out in various roles such as reporters writers news analyzers in print and broadcast media anchoring comparing com- programs and effective discussions 20% of our country's populations are youth they are fully mobilized by media but coming to women they don't know how women are shown the representation of her in media is wrongly sh- shown as sexual objects glamour dolls skimply dressed villains and shown violent which may lead the society to intimate relations as well as make gaze over media in this context television is massively projected as a effective role for depicting and distorting women in the field of commodi- commoditization of a body parts which is the biggest violation of human rights and which is gro- which is a growing trend women in media play a vital role nowadays media which influences all sets of people through newspaper television films and others have provided a wider social change but doesn't had changed the pattern of women no it has not she has considered as an object of sexual harassment <coughs> she has been portrayed daily in the media as commodi- com- commoditized object of advertising her body to sell the products of all mnc's as and local companies it could also say one of the marketing trends of female bodies of male gaze media treating women is narrow on films as well as in the press and the broadcasting media women are typically underrepresented and cannot go further than the confines of home and family these all are considered a factorial form of media which she is treated as an inferior sex and inferior status where she is not socially economically and culturally portrayed it has portrayed stereotypical sensational image of women accompanying the body of a politic in the media due to various efforts of feminist they are coming forward to make the issues come out of from them and struggle for their freedom the role of women in media started off from 1960s onwards and when television becomes the part of the society from that period onwards women were who were shown in the newspapers films and television got much more importance of her most of the media cooperations were owned by big mnc as well as big businesses who were all males so they were not content Con- conscious about women so they started exploiting them as a weapon of attracting their audience and to improve their ratings it may also send the image which was shown in media was physical in nature and where she was not given importance and under represented as inferior sex she is being com modified as an ideal of sensational human over even though they are happen the brighter side of media takes a major role in representing women issues and given importance on their counterparts of rich emotional and rational thinking of them women are proving their work as an important means of indelible mark in the media world let's discuss women's portrayal in media portraying women in media common is common nowadays where she is being exploited day to day by the means of her ignorance and not aware of any situation why she is portrayed It's due to male dominant society where she is considered as inferior sex of men and she could only serve as a homemaker as a mother so regarding media's context on women is irrational and under exploited at the social level in the community she is insecure in doing works and exploited in the name of working conditions in media in what ways does the media look a woman if the if we analyze it would be o oh, some she is considered as inferior one a body of commoditized advertisement where she is exploited by big mnc's and big business corporations in the name of providing entertainment to the audience they don't think women at at all they need to keep hold of their audience so they so they use women a burning firework to extro extrolified glamour skimply dressed fashionable and making up with of the male gaze over them 
historical background of women in television is women in television started in 1960s with the countries like UK, USA, USSR and other developed countries. In the context of India also started after the 1960s only where Dudashan played an important role in it. Major series like Hamlok, Punyat, which attracted all sorts of people, the serials were shown was glamorous, which made an idea that television was meant for glamour. It was the starting of the woman to be commoditized as a glamour doll, as well as to show their body of advertising big MNCs and big businessmen. It was during 1991 where satellite channels as well as the cable channels came into force where women were used as a commoditized objects in major channels for making audience attracted and improve their rating, catering, youth programs, businesses and all advertised by women as a commoditized girl. These trends are growing nowadays. In this commoditized world, <coughs> sorry, each television combat with each other in order to attract the people by beautiful women with skimply dressed, fashionable to make the male gaze and get attracted to these programs. Now let's discuss women depiction in TV serials. Television has made a huge impact in the last decade. Serials have been made a great deal on portraying strong characters on women in 1980s. Uran, Rajni Kalyani, which impressed all kinds of women. Today there is an overdose of serials and focusing women as ruthless, brutless, ignoring characters, popular serials like K-series by Star Network to ZTV's Bahuramayan Kuch Kata Hai so, Sony TV's Thodi Khushi Thode Gum and Khwaish Sun TV's Kolangal Kasturi Meghala Thirumati Silvi Kalega TV's Tekathi Te Ponnu I'm sorry for the pronunciation Jaya TV's Roja Raj TV's Githanjali Star TV's Madurai etc. These homemade <coughs> shows focusing wo focuses women as in family oriented relationships. This concept clearly says that a woman could only be a homemaker, maintains the households, being a good wife, good mother to her kids. But she is exploited in the means of serials like characters which are unrealistic, ignoring characters where she is not represented in the right position at all. Most of the tele television serials where, which are shown are fully stereotypical in nature, where men go to the office and women are shown in the light for of approval and disapproved, that she stays at home, which means that they doesn't have work at all. Women are shown as billions who go for power of hunger in the roles of stereotyping which comprises full of vices. This is the vamp of anti-heroine where women portrayed as ultra-modern women while she works as a plunging neckline, bold, short hair, ruthless and villains. Commodification of women in advertisement. Advertisement is one of the prominent roles in the television. Most of the television channels run out of advertisement only. It plays huge target of attracting and struggling. Involved is the crucial sexual harassment also which ate between advertising, consume product industries, why women are used in advertisement. Women's goal is to attract on man. So her body is executed as an advertisement where the male gaze would be there and the product would be sold and easier. In India, 75% of women in television are commoditized in advertisement where she plays a glamorous role, etc. Whereas men are shown as advertised cars, business, jobs, laptops, and job websites like monster.com, timeshop.com. For advertising, la large bind of fashionable jewels, which shows the symbol of Indian arm of marriage. Some of the advertisement like cooking in the kitchen related to Vimpas, Maggie, Sunflower, LIC, Bajaj Alliance and insurance also project women as alone for safety policies when husband is not there and you have an insurance that shows women cannot be without man for her security, she needs it. Like serials, advertisement depicts women in, in a glamorous manner. Portrayal of women in films. It could be said that without women there is no cinema at all. From the early beginning of cinema, she is own as on set a part of the attraction. Most of the women shown in Indian films are depicted as gently heartless, ruthless, servicevent. Often women are used a village girl or a city dweller. 
women in cinema started as an object of love and ends in marriage all films women as shown as oriented with her she is used as a colorful splash of the storyline from the 1980s this trend is ongoing in showcasing women as a glamorous from madhubala to rani mukherjee simran to shreya amal to dipika dipal kavaria ashwarya to katrina kaif where they all are used as sexual objects in indian cinema who are expressing their lips and wiggle their hips to the audience the action which are carried are mimic and sexual movements in order to sexualizing the woman's body in benefit of the male moreover our aged heroes act on with the 18 year old heroines which is a great biggest trend going out with our heroes two latest release om shanti om shahrukh khan is 44 and dipika padukone is just too young women depiction in stand up comedy and reality shows most of the comedy which is conducted have only the winners of male no woman has successfully finished the comedy show with prizes all the jokes which are said by male are related with women only marry many jokes which are said about women are said before male judges if we think this is a comedy how taking a woman is saying about her auspiciously before the live program or in the comedy shows and winning prizes does it show victory to men various acts and reports are presenting women issues in media portrayal of women in media has has become a big concern it was during 1975 it was noted that the committee on the status of a woman stated out certain recommendation in avoiding the portrayal of women should be stopped out it either felt that it was equally necessary not to convey sex link division of labor and women's predictions for with feminine pursuit through conventional and traditional stereotypes women lastly I, although prasar bharati act 1990 lays down its powers and function the need to inform and stimulate the national consciousness in regard to the status and problem of women paying attention to the upliftment of women doordarshan plays an important role and powerful instrument to speed up the message and assist in the overall improvement of the status of women the government used the facility wisely and well beijing platform for action uh, it was highlighted beijing conference that lack of gender issues and can't find stereotyping gender can be found in public and private local print and electronic media in most confines do not provide a balanced picture of women's deserved life and contribution of society in the changing world conclusion even though there are various laws protecting women representing in media but it failed to incorporate in the media the tendency of presenting women as a sexual commodity for the satisfying man's pleasure or to glorifying women's subordination to men as an attribute to womanhood or the effect of being indecent or degrading it is the role of human rights to safeguard women representation in media providing a proper means of broadcasting rules and effective measures should be taken in carrying out the violators of television channels and is it is also the duty of all to raise the voices against the atrocities which take place against them thank you